Hello, everybody. This is Joe with GeoVision. This is a demo video that shows how to set up the EMAP feature of the GeoVision VMS software. EMAP is a feature that allows users to be able to upload a floor plan of their facility and display it as a channel within the GeoVision VMS software. The EMAP feature allows you to upload icons and display them on the map of where cameras are actually located in your facility. And then as the cameras detect motion, the icons will flash in red and a preview of that camera will pop up on the screen. This is useful because it alerts customers where actual activity is going on in their facility, and then they can further investigate. As you see, when the camera preview popped up, you can simply double click, and then it will bring up that camera in full screen for you, in full resolution. And if you'd like, you can zoom in and look all around at your scene. You can simply double click to go back into the map view. And you do also have the ability to interact with this map just by simply clicking and dragging. You can also zoom in and zoom out on the map to get it to display to your preference. The EMAP also has a feature that is called Building View. If you see down in the bottom, there is an icon here that you can click on. And this allows you to display a multi-story building setup. So if you do have a multi-story building, you can upload the floor plans for those different floors. And then you can move it around and interact with it. If you see an event going on, you can simply double click on that floor. And again, you can further interact with the activity on that floor. So let's jump into how to create an EMAP and get it loaded into the VMS software. The first thing you will want to do is go up and close the VMS software by hitting the exit button. And you will want to stop the monitoring. After you do this, you will want to go to the window start menu. And then you will want to find the GV-VMS folder. And within this folder, you are looking for a program called EMAP Editor. You click on that, and it will bring up the EMAP Editor program. Now, I already have some EMAPs created on this particular machine, but we can still simulate how to add a new EMAP. Up in the top left-hand corner here, where it says Map View and New Map, you can simply click on New Map, right-click, and you can hit Add Map. And if you click the plus sign to the left, it will expand and show all the maps that you have. You then will want to click on the new map that you just created and right click and select load map. Now, this will take you into a Windows Explorer window where you can go in and you can find the floor plan that you're interested in. And I will advise that this does need to be a picture file. So it cannot be a PDF, it cannot be a CAD file or anything like that. It needs to be something like a JPEG image. So you simply find the file that you're interested in, hit open, and then it will bring in that layout for you. Now, down in the bottom left-hand corner, your host view, if you see here where it says test, that's what my particular machine says. Yours might say something different, but you can click the plus sign, and then you have your cameras there that you can expand, and your full list of cameras are there. What you can do at this point is if you find the camera number that you're interested in bringing into the map, you can just click and hold to drag and drop it on the map. And we'll go ahead and just drop a couple cameras on this map. Now, you do have some options here um, when you place the icon. You can click on the icon and then right click. And if you'd like to select a different style of icon, like maybe say a dome style camera, you can change that. And you can also click and then right click to do what's called a view zone. So if you click Edit View Zone, you have the ability to drag and move around to simulate approximately what the camera is viewing. Once you have it set in the area that you're interested in, you can right click and hit Finish, and then that view zone will stay locked there. Now, if you want to edit how wide or narrow that view zone is, you can click on the camera, and then up in the top right-hand corner where it says View Angle, you can go ahead and adjust that, and then you'll notice that the viewing angle does change. So once you get all your cameras set to how you like them, you can go up and you can go to File and then hit Save to VMS, and then you can close out the EMAP editor. Once you do that, you will want to go ahead and open up the VMS software, and then this will have the ability to where we can add in that EMAP and display it as its own channel. Now, there are really no limits on the number of EMAPs that you can bring in, 
So if you wanted to bring in different EMAPs, again, for different floor plans or for different sections of your building and display them on their own channel, you will have the ability to do that. As our VMS opens up, you'll go up into the top right-hand corner in the toolbar, and then you will hit the content list. Over on the left side, you will see a section titled EMAP. You can click to expand it. And then right there is our header of new map. We can click to expand that. And there are the four maps that I've already added into this system. I'm going to go ahead and close out the map that I have in the top left-hand corner. And if I want to bring in the new map that I just created, right here where it says new map, I can simply just drag and drop it into the window that I want it to be on close out my content list, and then I can double click to full screen that map, and again, further interact with it if I would like. This has been a demo video on how to create a EMAP within the GeoVision VMS software. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.